city of Megiddo, the way it looked uh, just prior to its destruction, okay? Actually, the city was destroyed in the 4th century B.C., so again, it's predating the time of Jesus. And again, we don't know that Jesus actually went through the city. Maybe he was in the vicinity for sure, but uh, not going into the city itself. If you look carefully right over here, you can see, as I told you, that this was a city, the city of Chariot. We have a double gate, like what we've seen earlier, okay? Two gates that are here, the one like we've seen yesterday at the area of uh, uh, Tel Dan. Same idea, a lower gate, an upper gate, and an area where the guards would be in order to protect the city itself. We have a water system. As you can see, the water system, I don't know if the light is working there. Not, not working. But this is the water system. The water system was built over here in advance in order to provide water for the inhabitants of the city over here. A city like this, which had about 1,000 horses, had to have at least 2,000 men that were here, because one was the driver, the other one was the archer. Um, and they were up on top over here. We found stables, and there's new digs that were done, especially on the uh, western side, uh, which are showing us the stables over here from the time of King Solomon. But the whole idea, technically, as you can see, look over here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they need music, yeah. 